Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. So it's been about nine months, maybe closer to 10 months since the last time you guys have seen me on camera. And the big reason for that is just how busy I've been. Um, so as you can probably see, I've lost a full person's worth of weight. Um, also, I have changed jobs, so I've got a new job as well. Um, so yeah, it's been nine or 10 months. Um, did upload a video about two weeks ago, and that was the Ryzen 3900X on a water chiller. Um, today, we're doing a build, um, as I'm sure you probably gathered from the title of this video. And this is an all AMD build in a Fantex Shift X, and it is using a custom loop for cooling. Um, there's also going to be a second part to this video. This video is mainly just going to be the build of the computer. Um, and then we'll have a follow-up video in a week or so on performance. And also some of the issues that I had when building uh, and getting this computer running. More so getting it going and stable uh, rather than the build. The build went fairly smooth. Uh, as smooth as a liquid-cooled custom loop can be in a small form factor computer. Uh, most of the time you end up putting stuff in and taking it back apart and it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle uh, just to see exactly how everything needs to fit in there and go together. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the build.
All right, guys, and now I'm going to just put up on screen a few photos of where the build ended up. Uh, so this wasn't actually my computer. Uh, this was a friend who, although is very capable of building the computer himself, uh, was nice enough to allow me to build it just so that I could share that content with you guys. Uh, so he is using this computer as a home theater PC. Um, I totally get that it's overkill for that, um, but kind of everything we do around here is a little overkill, and that extends to the, uh, the friends that I have. They tend to do the exact same thing, so... Uh, try not to bash too hard for it being a home theater PC and being right up there with a with a very nice gaming machine or a dedicated gaming machine for most people. All right, guys. So now you've uh, seen what the build turned out like. Uh, please give me your feedback. Let me know if you like the build, what you would have done differently. Um, and don't forget that we are going to have that second video coming up in the next week or so. Uh, just to show some of the issues that I had and then the performance of the build and how it turned out. So um, if you've got any suggestions or comments for this video or anything you want to see in the next video, please let me know. Leave a comment down below. Make sure that you like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you in the next one.